A video I've wanted to do for a long time is about rotor phase lag. The reason I've taken so long to make it is because it's a complicated subject. I think most people know that helicopters pitch the blades in order to tilt the rotor in the desired direction you wish to travel. But in order to get the desired direction, the blades need to be pitched in advance. The number of degrees the rotor takes to react is called rotor phase lag. The amount of phase lag depends on a few things. If you have a rotor which is hinged only in the centre, then the phase lag will be 90 degrees. If you have offset flapping hinges, delta 3 hinges, or you change the resonant frequency of the rotor system, then the amount of phase lag changes. In the Smarter Everyday video, they explain a 90 degree phase lag as gyroscopic precession. Seems a nice easy way to understand what could be going on, but that doesn't explain why helicopter phase lag varies and often isn't 90 degrees. Robinson's rotors are phased at 72 degrees, while rotorway rotors are phased at 90 degrees. Lynx and the BO-105 are phased at 75 to 80 degrees. The reason is to do with resonance and not gyroscopic precession. Maximum displacement lags force by 90 degrees at resonance. If we take a pendulum at 39 inches long, it has a frequency of 2 seconds per cycle. I've attached a weight at the end just to prevent air resistance having too much of an effect. A weight doesn't affect the frequency as long as it's placed at the tip. A complete cycle is a swing to one side, a swing to the opposite side and back to centre. With a 39 inch long pendulum this takes 2 seconds. This can be thought of as degrees 0 to 90, 90 to 180, 180 to 270, and 270 to 360. Notice that maximum displacement occurs at 90 degrees. This is exactly the same as the helicopter rotor. The pendulum is the blade hinged at the center and displacement lags force 90 degrees later. So when the swash plate changes the pitch of the blade to make the rotor tilt, the blade reaches maximum displacement 90 degrees later. When a rotor increases its RPM, the time it takes for the blade to move 90 degrees reduces. This means the rotor blade pivoting at its hinge needs to happen faster too. Our pendulum with a 39 inch length swings at a 2 second frequency, but the frequency of the rotor blade needs to increase with the rotor RPM. It does so because the central fugal force is increasing with rotor RPM. If we did the 39 inch pendulum test on Jupiter, with 2.4 times more gravity, then the pendulum frequency wouldn't be 2 seconds, it would be 1.25 seconds. Centrifugal force keeps the system in resonance as the rotor RPM increases. It doesn't matter what the length of the blade is, it doesn't matter what the weight of the blade is, it doesn't even matter what the weight distribution of the blade is. Centrifugal force is calculated based on the centre of mass of the blade, so whatever you do to the blade or rotor RPM, the centrifugal force is automatically adjusted, making sure the rotor frequency stays in resonance. Imagine if this wasn't the case. Phase lag would alter with rotor RPM and controlling a helicopter would be a bit tricky. So why then are some rotors not phased at 90 degrees? This is when you do something to change the frequency of the system. Adding a hinge that is not in the centre will increase the frequency of the rotor blade. The blade will get to maximum displacement sooner than before, and so then we need to reduce the phase lag. An offset hinge changes the blade's frequency, but the centrifugal force is the same whether we have an unlocked offset hinge or a locked offset hinge. The system is no longer in resonance. The blade flapping frequency and rotor RPM frequency no longer match. Maximum displacement still happens 90 degrees later, as shown with a pendulum and hinge, but it got there sooner than before. A rotor is still a gyroscope and the blades always want to align themselves with the rotor shaft, but delayed control of the rotor is not because of gyroscopic precession, it's because displacement lags forced at 90 degrees at resonance. In my opinion, helicopter rotors are absolutely fascinating and 5-6 to six years ago I had no idea how much there was to learn. A subject I think you could study for years and still find out new information. The information in this video was obtained by reading other people's research and teachings. All I'm doing is trying to understand it for myself and then passing on what I think is correct. Some people, once they know the reason for phase lag, then might be able to calculate how many degrees of lag there needs to be for a given rotor system. 
that would definitely be useful. I actually used this knowledge to solve a problem with my kit car exhaust. It had a very annoying resonating vibration and I solved it by adding a hinge just like an offset rotor hinge. It changed the frequency of the exhaust and now it no longer resonates. So that demonstrates this isn't just about understanding helicopter rotors, it's about understanding physics and that can be applied to anything.